Uy, live na. Live na pala. <laughs> Kaysa wala ba tayo? Wala, wala, napuputol. Ah, gosh. Hello. Okay. Wala pa ako yung live music. Kailangan ba may live music? Hindi na siguro eh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ayan. Ay! Ay, napuputol yan. Ano ko may problema yata sa audio ko? May problema ba sa audio? Check! The... Check muna tayo. Check, 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 check. Um. Check. My check. Ha? Huh? Sa YouTube ko naka-live. Check, check, check. Check. Mic, check. Mic, check. And when I hold you in my arms. Okay. Uh, double check ang sound. Sound. Kanang may sound effects. Sound effects meron? Oh, uh, okay. So, background music na lang tayo. Hello po, good afternoon from Bacolod. Yay! Bill, uh, Ali Lane. <laughs> Nicole, kung paano yung pronounce yung, ano, yung last name mo. Uh, lagay mo na tayo ng background music, no? Kasi parang boring na naman ko lang background music. Wait lang, ha? Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Lagyan natin ng background music. Uh, on a 10. There you go. Nagko-connect ba? Parang hindi nagko-connect eh. Okay lang bang walang background music? Baka kasi makapiright tayo eh. Ah, sige, start na tayo. Um, nagpuputol-putol talaga eh. Ah, wait lang ha. Nagpuputol-putol yung... Uh, Anyhow, sige, um, as you can see on the screen, on your screen, syempre yung mukha ako, tsaka yung ito, 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 nasa kabila. Kabilang screen. Ay, ito ba yun? Ito ba yun? Ito yun. <laughs> Ayan, actually, uh, Hi, this is Dudu um, Dito, and muna welcome tayo. to my channel. Bakit hindi Ikaw mo yung isa sa mga taong yamot na yamot kung bakit sobrang hindi hirap ba, makakuha ng passport appointment sa DFA. Malapit na hindi ba ma-expire? no? yung passport mo, especially OFW ba? Stay tuned because I have <laughs> tips and suggestions how to make your passport um, application appointment For some reason, so I don't know what's really easy. happening. Let's jump into it after this. Dapat nakikinig niyo yung screen. Ah, kasi ito. Ayan. Oh, mga viewers. Isa ako dun sa mga taong inis na inis Hello, dahil Bobby sa sobrang ilang ba, makuha okay, okay, ng ba? passport na pwede na sa DFA. Na Ilang araw pa din itong pinagtutunan ng pansin. And I will share my experience how to make it simple and easy for you. But I must admit mga video news. Kailangan ko talaga mga kapang when magiging available or i-open ng DFA ang slots for your appointment. And sabi nila, kasi kumunta ako sa DFA, sabi nila, five times a day nilang in-open yung slots for certain weeks. So, be patient lang mga kanilunas. Ano ba yung dapat mong i-expect before ka mag-book ng appointment? Guys, let's all admit that we are all affected by this pandemic. And not all offices of DFA are open 100%. And dahil sa sobrang dami nang apply at mag-re-renew ng passport, humihina at nagda-down yung... Okay. Um, ilan na ba yung mga viewers natin? Meron na tayong 4 viewers. 4 million viewers. You know, uh, guys, just to set an expectation, the reason why I'm playing my video is just because um, I have been receiving a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, of uh, questions, which is, paulit uh, ulit. And, uh, hindi naman ako na I mean, I mean, may mga, may mga ganun talaga eh. I mean, if hindi kayang maintindihan ng isang video, then we have to elaborate. No, Kailangan natin na siyang, guys, elaborate. Um, the reason why I'm playing my old videos, my previous videos about DFA, how to get a passport appointment in 15 minutes, is because, yeah, I've been receiving a lot of, you know, um, 
um, questions, answers, question answers. I've been receiving a lot of questions uh, and I, I want to discuss, uh, I want to elaborate more para mas malinaw sa atin. No? Now again, before I start, uh, I just want to inform you guys that I'm not hired. I am not really from DFA. Uh, all the information that I will be relaying to you guys is uh, all for my knowledge, yes, and experience. And I want to share to all my uh, uh, subscribers and viewers about what to do, what ca at what I can suggest, and um, also there are questions that I may not answer. You don't have to worry. I will have to park all those questions. I will have to call, possibly visit DFA to get all the answers for you. But, uh, and also, um, meron ding mga questions na very complicated. Uh, hopefully, masagot ko. Hopefully, hopefully, masagot ko. So, meron na tayong seven viewers, guys. So, ipa-play ko muna tong, uh, ito to. Medyo ipapost ko lang, ipapost ko lang siya ng konti, paputol-putol, para at least ma-elaborate natin, okay? So, nandito na tayo. Play natin. Play the video. Yung system ng DFA. Para tong piece of fair ng Cebu Pacific, okay, nilang ilumumpo. My experience, how to make it simple and easy for you. But I must admit, mga kadidoners, kailangan mo talagang mag-abang when magiging available or i-open ng DFA ang slots for your appointment. Ah, yun yun. Kailangan mo talagang mag-abang kung kailan ma-i-open yung schedule ng ng DFA. Um, based on experience kasi, um, it's not all the time. Hindi porke merong isang date na inalat ang DFA, inopen nila for a certain week, open na siya for a certain week. So, the reason why I need to explain is just because, um, guys, uh, limited lang yung mga slots na, uh, na binibigay ni DFA for, per certain hour and per certain week o per certain schedule. Kasi, kailangan din nilang ilimit yung number of heads, number of people, number of applicants na pumapasok sa office. And uh, the reason is because eh, hindi na naman ganun, hindi na naman ganun ka kabilis, hindi rin naman ganun kabilis mag-apply and uh, hindi rin ganun karami yung employee ni uh, DFA. So once they have open na uh, open a slot for the certain hour, that means ito lang yung number of heads na pwede na lang makater per certain hour. Okay? Play the video. And sabi nila, kasi pumunta ako sa DFA, and sabi nila, five times a day nilang inu-open yung slots for certain Yon. weeks. So, Wait lang, post lang natin, may nag-message. Nag si Miss Belle Al Alilane, tagal ko nung hinahantay na mag-live po kaya kasi gusto ko mang pag-thank you dahil sa mga videos nyo po about kuha ng passport. Now I have passport na po last September 2022. Yes! Yay! Uh, it is not my effort, ma'am. It is... Uh, my responsibility as a uh, influencer that uh, you know I have to share my knowledge kung paano rin ako nakakuha ng passport syempre hindi tayo selfish kailangan natin i-share ang experience natin kaya kasi para lang din makatulong din tayo sa madlang people and Miss Belt congratulations maraming maraming salamat po at least may nakaka-appreciate po sa 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 effort na ginagawa ko po um Maraming maraming salamat, especially those to my uh, subscribers, mga viewers ko, maraming maraming salamat sa, sa mga nagla-like at ang li-leave ng comment. To be very honest guys, um, medyo natagal-tagalan talaga ako mag-live, nag-post ng video. It's just because, um, mer meron po kasing masyadong, um, meron akong, mer nagka-meron po kasi kami ng uh, medyo konting problema. Uh, and uh, so far, nakabalik na po uli ako mag-YouTube. Mag 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 and uh, yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Don't have to worry, okay? So let's play the video, Miss Bell. Congratulations, yes. Maraming maraming salamat po. Wag po, sa akin, wag po kayo sa akin magpa-thank you. Magpa-thank you po rin kayo sa patience and effort po na ginawa niyo para magkameran po yun. Isa lang po akong medium para to share my knowledge and uh, skills para po mas, uh, mas marami pong tao na meron tayong natutulungan. Maraming salamat po. Uh, let's play the video. Ano mo yung dapat mong expect before ka mag-book ng appointment? 
guys, let's all admit that we are all affected by this pandemic. And not all offices of BFA are open 100%. Dahil sa sobrang dami nag apply at magre-renew ng passport, humihina at nagda-down yung system ng DFA. Tama yun. Para tong piece of air ng Cebu Pacific from the fastest fingers and connection ang labanan. Dari- okay, gusto ko mag-comment nun ah. Uh, guys, um, based on my experience, mga... Uh, meron ako 7 million viewers. Based on experience, ah, uh, hindi porke na hindi kayo nakabook, it's just because uh, sinungaling si DFA, mali sa DFA. Hindi. Kasi, uh, ang application natin is online. Hindi tayo bumipila doon. Online yun. So, so, kung sino yung pinakamabilis mag-type, kung sino yung pinakama, may magandang internet connection or mabilis ng internet connection, yun yun. Na timing lang siguro nung nag, uh, mag-a-apply ka, May nakauna na sa'yo. Okay? Play the video tayo. It's also why kukunti lang din yung inu-open nilang slot is because they are limiting the number of heads na pwedeng pumasok sa office nila because of, you know, the COVID-19 restriction. So guys, yes, exactly. tinihin din natin sila. And Correct. that's for the safety of everybody. Correct. Tip number one, make sure that you have a strong and stable internet connection. Yes. Hanggat maaari, turn off all the devices that is connected to your Wi-Fi modem. Oo, yun. Totoo, yun. Kasi... Uh, again, ang labanan nito is pabilisan ng internet connection, pabilisan pabilisan ng uh, ng speed. So, uh, if you are really if you really want to have a, a a faster connection, make sure or kausapin niyo muna si mama, papa, kapatid, pinsan kung sino mang mga connect sa Wi-Fi, please lang, wag muna kayong mag uh, wag niyo muna i-connect. Make sure na i-prioritize lang nung uh, yung connect yung nung connection or yung modem mo. yung gamit mo na device like laptop div, um, laptop tablet cellphone para at least walang interference oh, back to video tayo if naka laptop ka or naka desktop ka instead of using the wifi capability I suggest that you use the LAN port cable totoo yun LAN port cable ah uh, yun yung cable na bigyan bigyan natin ng example Ayan. meaning hindi kayo gagamit ng wifi sa So usually up, uh, applicable yon guys uh, mga computers lang computers kasi usually yung mga tablet mobile phone wala namang LAN port cable ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong LAN port cable na kinakabit sa desktop or sa diba yun? desktop or sa laptop ito yon ito yon kasi kung wifi or wireless yung gagamitin niyo medyo magkakamero ng konting interference kasi nga wireless pero kung cable talaga yung ginagamit you guys na ako mas mabilis yung connection niyo kasi wired yon di ba Okay, back to video. Para at least mas mabilis yung connection mo. Tip number two, bilisan mo mag-type. Ah. Yun yun, isa rin. Bilisan nyo na mag-type, guys. Kasi kung mabagal talaga yung mag-type, nako, again, paunahan to ng, ano, ng, ng, ng schedule, appointment, ba? Diba? Ay kung mabagal kayo mag-type, <laughs> kamusta naman na maunahan kayo. So, bilisan nyo mag-type. Kung sa tingin nyo hindi kayo marunong, hindi kayo mabilis mag-type, So you better ask your cousin or anyone or a friend perhaps who can who do who can do the encoding for you. Okay? Back to video. As per my experience, the website will only take 13 to 15 minutes timeout. Oy, okay, gusto ko lang i-highlight 'yun ha. 13 to 15 minutes a timeout. Okay? Ibig sabihin, uh, per a certain click niyo, uh bibigyan ka ng 15 minutes to finish all the transactions, to see, to finish all the encodings or something. Ana. Kapag nabutan kayo ng timeout, guys, back to zero na naman kayo. Baka mamaya pag back to zero nyo, guys, wala na yung appointment na kuha na ng ibang tao. So again, suggestion, bilisan mag-type. Okay? So sobrang dami mong itatype and if you fill in, dapat hindi pasmado yung kamay mo. At kung meron kang <laughs> friend or kamag-anak who can do this for you, much better. Tip number three, Prepare all the required information. Yon. Prepare all the required information. ba? Diba? Ano yung mga required impro- information? Siyempre, uh, yung birthday, ano, name, full name. That means first name, middle name, last name, birthday, address. ba? Diba? Home address, email address. Diba? Kailangan rin yon yung mga basic information sa application nyo. Based on my experience, 13 to 15 minutes lang yung timeout ng website. So, yun nga, 15 to 15, uh, 10 to 15 minutes lang yung timeout. Guys, isulat nyo na sa papel yung mga necessary information. Pangalan ni mama, pangalan ni papa, kasi kailangan din yun eh. Kailangan din yun sa application nyo, guys. 
isulat nyo na lang sa papel para at least kung nandun na sa harapan nyo yung uh, encoding uh, or dun yung pag-fill in ng mga information ninyo, hindi nyo kailangan hagilapin kung, oy asan yung birth certificate ko? Ano ba yung, pang, ano ba yung correct spelling na nandun sa birth certificate nyo? Hindi na, kasi syempre na ihanda na mo lahat. Kung hindi nyo gusto isulat, then prepare all the necessary documents. Birth certificate, ba diba? Home office number, kailangan ang kailangan pero hindi naman masyadong uh, needed. Kung meron lang, okay? Back to video tayo guys. So, ibig sabihin nun, ilista mo na muna sa papel lahat yung mga kailangang information ng kailangan mong itay. Kaysa Tama. naman kung kailan naman nasa harap nyo na, doon yung pahagilapin, doon yung pahalungkatin, or doon yung pahahanapin yung mga information niya. But remember, ah, maximum mo 15 minutes lang yung website timeout. Correct. So, kailangan ihanda mo na lahat para hindi ka maabutan okay. ng... <laughs> Ay, mga kaditunors, ano nga ba yung mga information na yun? Number one, your contact numbers. Correct. Mapa mobile pa yan or mapa landline and isa mo man na rin yung office phone number mo. Correct. Kasi kailangan yung office phone number mo later part sa application mo. Pero hindi masyadong number kailangan two, yung office phone number. Your baka, email address. Kung kailangan lang. Number three, your full name and also the full name of your parents. Correct. Make sure kung ano yung nakalagay mismo sa birth certificate mo, yun din yung ilalagay mo na details, na information na inire-require ni DFA. Take note ah, uh, guys, make sure lang yung birth certificate nyo at saka birth certificate nyo ay tama dun sa pag encounter nyo. Tama ba? Parang nagulo na ako dun. Hindi, <laughs> ibig sabihin, what, what, I'm, what, it's, what, what, what I'm trying to emphasize here is just because uh, i-make sure lang natin yung pagta-type natin is a match dun sa birth certificate. Baka kasi mamaya, mali. Patay. ba diba? Back to zero na naman tayo or nabayaran nyo na. May mga konting mga misspelled na pangalan o letters. Siguro doon natin na tama talaga yung spelling. Huwag na tayong, uh, huwag na, ta na natin sig... Wag na nat wag na wag na natin ano ba yan? <laughs> Alam. Sige, eh, what I'm trying to emphasize is i make sure lang na, ta na tama and match yung uh, information galing mismo dun sa birth certificate and match dun sa tinat ita type natin. Okay? Play the video. Number four, your emergency contact person and his or her contact number. Correct. Number five, five, guys. Kung magre-renew ka, be ready with the passport number, issuing date, expiry date, and also the issuing office. Okay, yung passport, uh, usually, uh, kailangan yung uh, passport, magdala ng passport, kapag magre-renew ka. Siyempre, kung nuli, uh, new applicant ka, di, hindi mo kailangan magdala ng passport. Eh, kasi meron ka ng passport, di ba? Magre-renew ka na lang or malapit na siya mang expire So, those are the required information na kailangan. Ah, sila ba tayo? Ang dami ko nang sinabi. Mm -hmm. Okay, tama. Yeah. Tip number four. So, sobrang daming mode of payment ng DFA for your uh, passport application, Correct. the fastest way to pay the transaction is using your credit or debit card. Totoo yun ha. Based on experience, guys, ha. Uh, using your credit or debit card and GCash. Napakadali ng transaction kung meron kung meron kayong you credit or debit card or GCash. Kasi um, kung dun sa bayad centers kayo pupunta para magbayad, guys, it will take time para magland yung payment nyo dun sa bayad center and also it will take time para magland yung payment nyo from bayad center going to DFA account. Okay? So, sinadjust ko to is just because that's the easiest and the fastest way for for DFA to confirm your payment. Back to video. But make sure that it has a sufficient amount before you make a payment. Siyempre naman. Kung debit card, meron kayong debit card, wala namang laman. <laughs> Pangkumusta naman? Magiging success pa ba yung payment? At siyempre, hindi. At saka yung GCash nyo rin, guys. Ah. Dapat may laman din. <laughs> Kinaklarify ko lang. Ah. <laughs> okay, back to video tayo. Again, 15 minutes lang maximum yung timeout. Kung wala ka namang credit card or debit card, the second best and the fastest way to pay the transaction is through GCash. Correct. But tip ko lang sa inyo guys, ah, make sure sufficient yung amount and also, i-check mo muna kung down ba yung GCash or not. Tama. Para dire-diretso ka na sa jackpot. Tip <laughs> number five, review and take a screenshot. Correct. Guys, isa yeah, gusto kong i-highlight yung review and take a screenshot ah. Kasi not all the payment transaction will be is successful. When I say successful, nakuha nyo yung application code nyo. So, 
wag, wag tayong masyadong uh, kampante na porke nagbayad na tayo is uh, wala na tayong records. Kasi once na nag-click ka ng next page don sa payment transaction, uh, pinapakita yung application code. Napaka-importante ng application code. Huwag niyo munang in-next. Mag-take kayo ng screenshot para at least meron kayong preba kung ano't ano mang mangyari kung successful man yung payment yung hindi kayo nakareceive ng transaction number or application code at least you have something to you know show to DFA that I made a payment it's just that I did not receive the application transa- I don't I, I don't have the transaction number I, and also I don't have the application code okay uh, o galiin natin mag- kumuha tayo ng screenshot for our safety back to video Ito sa mga pinaka-importante and listen very carefully. Okay. Before you make a payment, the system will actually direct you to review all the details. Correct. A quick glance of maybe 4-5 seconds actually will do. Always- okay, di ba? Quick glance. Make sure all the information that you have encoded on your application, make sure accurate, tama ang spelling. Mismo. Okay? Klaro tayo doon, ha? Please make a habit to do a screenshot para hindi nyo nalilimutan yung appointment date nyo and also the payment transactions that you made. Tip number six. Makinig ka. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. I want you to learn from my mistakes and I don't want you to experience it. Once the payment is successful, the system will send you an email receipt confirming that they received your payment. Ah. Oh. Tama yun, ha? Once you made a pay, once you made a payment and it and once the payment is was successful, automatically DFA will send you uh, a receipt. Okay? Ito makinig ka. Importanting importante ito kasi dito ako nagkamali. The system will direct you to a page regarding your payment transaction. Alright. Ito ay tsura nun. Yan yun. Oy! Skip na rin. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Skip na rin. Okay, back to video. Yan. Do not yun yun guys. close that window. Wag yung i-close yun. Wag na para... wag mong i-close yan. Balik natin. Yan. Kasi, Balik do not natin. close that window. Wag na wag mong i-close yan. Kasi, importante yung page na yan. I-click mo yung name and it will direct you to your passport application form. Nandun din yung application number mo. Kung Tama. may printer ka, mas mabuti. Taga, 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 balik natin. Gusto kong makita nyo guys. The system will direct you to a page regarding your payment transaction. Ito ay tsura nun. Yan. Ito guys ha. Ang nakikita nyo dito. Dito, dito, dito. Dito ba? Yan. Yeah. Dapat pala dito. Yan, yan. Ito, 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 ito. Ito. Eh, eh, eh. Yan. Guys, huwag nyo i-close yan, ha? Oh, kasi minsan kasi, uh, may delay sa pagsasend ng uh, email confirmation or application uh, code sa DFA. Huwag nyo muna i-close yan, guys, ha? Ito, 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 mismo. Yung may pangalan na yan, pangalan ko yan. Pag-clinic nyo yan, automatically magda-direct yung uh, page sa application na um, form na in-encode mo. So, kesa mag-antay ka pa ng uh, mag-antay ka pa ng email confirmation regarding yung, yung application code, pag-clinic nyo yan, pag-clinic nyo to, yan, 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 pag-clinic nyo yung may pangalan na yan, automatically magda-direct yan sa application form na kailangan mong i-print. So, less hassle ka, at hindi, mo, hindi mo na kailangan mag-antay. Okay? Balik tayo sa video. Do not close that window. Tama. Wag na wag mong i-close yan. Kasi Correct. importante yung page na yan. I-click mo yung name and it will direct you to your passport application form. Nandun din yung application number mo. Kung may printer ka, mas mabuti. I-print mo kaagad. But make sure that ang size ng paper is not short, not long, but A4. A4. Hindi... Ayan. Napakarami kong nare-receive na mga... <laughs> Kakasabi ko lang A4. Kasi yun din yung instructions ni DFA, right? So, yun din yung ins- uh, yun yung instruction na DFA. A4 size pan paper. May nagtatanong. <laughs> Sir, pwedeng short? Patay. Sir, pwedeng long? Patay. Sir, wala akong A4. Patay. So, sino mag adjust di ba? Siyempre, ikaw. Kasi ikaw naman yung nag apply Ano Pero, uh, based on experience naman, guys, um... Tinatanggap man nila yung short and long as long as may application form. Kaya lang syempre, alam mo yun, gobyerno yun eh. Pero, and, and nag, 
nagi implement sila ng rules. So let's just as much as possible, let's follow it. Sunod lang din tayo, no? Pero based on experience, may nakita ako nung nag-apply ako ng passport, based on experience, meron namang short, meron namang long. And um uh, uh ano rin eh, um minsan kasi medyo mata-timingan kayo ng uh, strict na, na DFA officer. Pag talaga na timingan kayo ng ganun, o baka din dito A4 na ako, mahirapan nyo, maghahanap pa pa ng may A4 size band paper. What if walang uh, uh, business uh, center yung mall or walang nagpiprint, walang A4 size. So, kailangan mo bumalik. Bumalik, di ba? So, guys, i-make sure lang na follow lang din tayo sa instruction. Again, ang requirement, kailangan siyang i-print sa A4 size band paper. Back to video tayo, guys. <laughs> So, alam kung bakit yun yung size na nire-require ng DFA. Pero nakalagay yun dun mismo sa reminders nila sa passport application form. Ah. Ngayon, kung wala ka namang printer, better to save it muna. Bakit kailangan kong sabihin to sa inyo? Kasi dun ako mismo nagkamali. Kasi... Okay, yun na So, yun na nga, di ba? Na-click nyo na yung name dun sa pinakita ko kanina. Uh, kung wala naman kayong printer, save it on your file, di ba? Para at least kung wala naman kayong printer, pwede nyo mapaprint sa iba kesa mag-antay kayo ng email para lang dun sa application form na merong, kayong, na merong application code nyo. Promise, mas mabuti yun na handa tayo, mas mabuting safe tayo kesa dumating yung point na kailangan mong pang mag-antay. Minsan, minsan kasi hindi perfect yung system, so... Para less hassle din tayo. Okay, back to video. Kasi yung system ng DFA, minsan hindi isinesend yung email or application form sa email mo. So, Correct. nakakadagdag yun sa hassle, nakakadagdag din yun sa delay. Eh, Correct. paano kung malapit na yung appointment mo? Doon ka pa magkarakarap. Kaya tama yun. And additional tip mga kaditoners. Eto ah, inis na inis talaga ako kasi lima kami dito sa bahay na mag apply ng bagong passport at saka mag-renew. Isa ako sa mag-renew. So, instead of getting an appointment individually, kasi it will take time, kasi nagkakaubusan nga eh, I opted to choose the group booking. Guys, mind you, I don't know what's really happening. Every time I chose the group booking, the system always crash and redirects you to the appointment. Yun guys ha, based on experience yun ha, kasi lima kami magdag-apply ng passport noon. So, para less hassle, um, syempre, mga kakukawan ako ng application for five, Five packs, five heads, or five applicants. Kapag klinikay ko dala yung group booking out, nagre-refresh yung system. And mind you guys, ha, ang advantage ng group, group booking is just as because makakakuha kayo ng appointment for a certain slot. Di ma kayo kaagad. Pero ang tanong yan, what if may problema kasi sa system ng DFA? Or nagka-crash? Or may problema sa browser? May problema sa internet speed? Di ba? Paano yun? So... Ang yun lang yung advantage kaya lang kaya lang kasi ang advantage din ng uh, ng uh, group booking is just because kapag naka one successful na yung application nyo kung ano yung email primary email na ginamit nyo in-encode nyo ni register no dun isa san yung five applications naka receive din ako ng mga questions na ganun na kasi ah ginamit ko yung group, group booking pero hindi ako nasanda ng email dun sa applicant number 2 na applicant number 3 so paano yun so you don't have to worry guys isinesend yun dun sa primary email na ni register nyo yung application form na may application code okay copy tayo dun or schedule appointment option hindi siya pwede ilang beses ko na talaga siyang tinry hindi siya Wait lang guys ha. Um, so far, meron na akong 10 na uh, 10 million viewers ha. Baka may mga questions and questions kayo guys. Do please please. I will have to pause the video and um, I will have to cater all your questions. Okay? Sa abot ng aking makakaya. Okay, back to video tayo guys. Tas booth yung transaction. Baka siguro sa sobrang dami ng you know information kailangan mo i-encode nagka-crash yung system ng DFA. And disadvantage yun dun sa mga group booking. Kasi alam mo yun, nagkakaubusan na nga eh. So eh, paano kung iisa-iisahin mo pa yung limang transaction mo or tatlong transaction or more than one transaction mo? Hindi mo na mabukuhaan yung iba kasi eh kada isang transaction 15 minutes. Tama yun ha. Disadvantage yun sa group booking. Again, ang time out is 10 to 15 minutes. Eh what if lima kayo? Tapos ang bagal mo pang mag-type, di ba? <laughs> Paano yun? Di ba? 15 minutes for, for 5 applicants. Kailangan mabilisan talaga. Kailangan sakto, ha? 
E baka mamaya pag encode mo ng second applicant, wala na yung slot. So, I hope DFA can actually uh, fix or the IT of DFA can actually fix this problem. Tama nga naman, ano? Kaya dapat sana ma-fix ng DFA yon kung nag-click kayo ng group booking, di ba? For your appointment, dapat i-extend din nila yung timeout ng group, di ba? Kesa sa individual. Disadvantage yun sa group booking kasi what if uh, sobrang haba ng pangalan, sobrang dami mong itatype, di ba? So, para lang makakuha ka ng passport, apply, uh, ng, ng passport appointment, so instead of doing the group booking na may 10 to 15 minutes na timeout, so na extend nila yung timeout. At saka, what if kung lima kayo, eh, nagha nag nagaka nagkakaagawan na ng ano eh nagkakaagawan na ng appointment slot eh nakuha mo yung isa di ba as isang appointment tapos kukuha ka na ng another appointment magkakaiba kayo ng schedule kasi papabilisan eh sana ma na ng DFA yun problem sa limang transaction ini sa isa ko talaga siya so ang nangyari ang disadvantage is magkakaiba kami ng schedule but so tama yun successfully yun nakabuo naman ako ng lima kaya lang yes. kasi yun nga ang disadvantage is hindi kayo magkakapareha ng schedule or either way may schedule yung iba yung iba hindi mo makukuha ng schedule kasi fully mo so tama so, lang, sobrang hirap talaga magbook ng appointment kayo especially during this pandemic for me it's like na fully book siya for a certain hour right after 30 minutes i-open mo yun lang kailangan talaga ng Stay positive and always focus on the things that you can control. Yes, tama. Stay positive, no? So, hindi porke hindi tayo nakakuha ng application today na hindi na tayo makakakuha ng application forever. You know? Let's just, you know, before tayo mag-apply or kumuha ng appointment sa DFA, guys, kailangan positive atong mind. Para at least, you know, law of attraction, positive attracts positive. So, para at least, Meron din tayong drive, meron tayong motivation para makukuha ng passport. Kaya kung nega na kaagad tayo mag-apply ng passport, nega na talaga yung output nun, promise. And that's the reason why I made this love for you. I hope na katulong tong video na to. If you have questions and suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment. Hit the like and subscribe button and also the notification bell. Yes. For you to be updated on my next upload. Once again, Once again, this is Dudu Ditun. Now you know what I'm saying. Stay home and stay safe. Bye. Bye bye bye. Uh, next, uh, next video na tayo guys. Uh, how to Please get the passport? Wait a second. Meron pa tayo kana. Meron tayo yung commercial. Skip natin. Yun na nga guys, no? since nagka-commercial pa naman. So, I hope nakatulong yung first part na yun. Ito naman yung tayo, next video na tayo guys. Ha? Ano ano ba ang requirements, requirements na ilang mong dalhin kapag meron ka nang confirmed appointments? Balik, balik. Hi, this is Dudu Ditun and welcome, welcome to, to my channel. channel. Ano ano ba ang requirements na ilang mong dalhin kapag meron ka nang confirmed appointments sa DFA? Iyan ang pag-uusapan natin. But before I proceed, pasok intro! intro. Guys, maraming maraming salamat dun sa mga nag-inquire at nag-comments and most especially dun sa mga nagbigay ng compliments regarding dun sa previous content ko sa tips and suggestions how to make uh, an appointment with the away in 15 minutes. At ang dahil dyan, ang dami pa rin talaga na nagtatanong dun sa mga documents and identification or ID na ina-accept ng DLA. Correct. Bago ko sinuha yan. Guys, iba yung new applicant sa renewal. Tama. Sinabi new applicant applicant that means what hindi ka pa talaga nakakapag-apply ng passport sa DFA. Klaro yun guys ha, new applicant that means hindi ka pa nakaka-apply ng passport o first time ka mag apply ng passport sa DFA. And pag sinabi na yung renewal, that means nakakapag-apply ka na before either malapit na siya mag-expire or expired siya. Okay, tama yun ha. Uh, for renewal, ah, ne, ulitin natin. For new applicant that means pag sinabing new applicant, wala ka talagang passport, hindi ka pa nakapag-apply ng passport ever since. Pag sinabi natin na renewal, that means nakapag-apply ka na before. The reason why you have to renew it is just because your passport has expired or malapit na siya mag-expire or less than 6 months na siya. Klaro tayo doon guys ha? Klaro. Mga ka kailangan ko muna ng discuss kung ano-ano ba talaga yung pangunahing kailangan para makakuha ng passport. Yes. Number one is confirmed online appointment. Yun, dapat meron kang confirmed online appointment. Okay? So, 
uh, pag sinabing confirm online appointments, uh, pwede, sa, pwede po ba mag-walk in? Hindi. Kaya nga online, di ba? Di ba? Online ka mag apply ng appointment before the appray. Meron din yung mga walk-in. Okay, later di-discuss natin yon Another video na natin yon Pero so far, for now, not all uh, consular offices of DFA. Anong nangyari? Ano yun? Okay. Consular of... <laughs> not all consular offices ng DFA is open for walk-in. Okay? Pero for now, pinaka-safest for you to get an appointment for DFA is through their website, which is online appointment system po tayo. Okay, copy. Doon sa mga nagtatanong kung pwede bang walk-in, ang sagot is hindi. Ayan. Gusto ko lang i-clarify itong video na to ha. Pag, kasi, not all, gagaya nga sinabi ko, hindi, di, hindi, at the time na ginawa ko itong video na to, guys, uh, wala pang walk-in. Pero ngayon, may walk-in na ha. Walk-in. Pero hindi lahat ng applicant pwedeng mag-walk-in. May mga certain qualifications na pwede lang mag-walk-in or mag-courtesy lane. Nagsimula yan starting nung nagkameron ng pandemic. Kailangan mo talagang mag-apply online bago ka makakuha ng passport sa DFA. Correct. Paano yung mga minors, yung mga senior citizens, yung mga infants, yung mga babies? May... Ito yun! Gusto kay clarify kasi at the time na ginawa ko tong video guys, wala pang uh, wala pang walk-ins. Pero yung mga uh, minors, infants, babies, senior citizen, P PWDs, buntes, pwede nang mag-walk-in. Pero mostly sa consular office siya ha, hindi siya yung sa mall. Basta pag sinabing consular office, that means main office siya ng DFA. Mapa, mapa regional yan or not basta consular office pwede nang mag walk in pero pag-uusapan natin yan later part sa video kasi may ginawa akong content about um, uh, courtesy lane ng DFA okay? may priority ba? the answer is wala kahit pa infant, baby kailangan mo talaga mag-apply application online number two is personal appearance personal Meaning, appearance kailangan mo talaga pumunta sa office ng DFA Tama. hindi pwedeng zoom hindi pwedeng viber <laughs> yes. hindi pwedeng FB messenger <laughs> hindi pwedeng letter or authorization letter or kahit na meron ka pang special power of authority oh, hindi pwedeng ito parang kasang pwedeng may proxy number two okay wait lang ha kailangan ng personal appearance hindi pwedeng may proxy hindi pwedeng Kasi alam mo kung bakit kailangan ng personal appearance? Kasi doon ka pipicturean eh, di ba? La lain naman si lain sa kung, kung yung proxy yung magpapapicture sa passport ay passport ko 'yon. Kamusta naman, ha? Uh, logic tayo, basic logic, okay? Three is accomplished application form. Yan yung sinabi ko kanina, yung accomplished ac application form na sinuggest ko na guys, do not close the window. Once you're done with your payment, you just have to click your name and automatically this application form, yan, yan, application form na yan, lalabas yun kesa magantay kayo ng email confirmation. Ito yung document na isinis sa ni DFA sa email mo Correct. once you're done with your payment and once you're successful with your online application. Tama. Take note, kailangan mo siyang i-print sa A4 na size na bond paper. Ulit-ulitin ko, A4, sa, A4 na size na bond paper. Baka mamaya may magtatanong na naman ulit. Ma, pwedeng short, pwedeng long. Wala akong A4 na ko. Yun po yung requirement and as much as possible, i-follow natin yung requirement. Eh? Kaya kayo nag a hindi po si DFA yan nag di ang DFA yan nag apply Okay? Copy? Copy! Number four is the original and photocopy of your birth certificate from BSA. Original and photocopy. Yeah? Ulitin ko. Original and photo photocopy of your uh, birth certificate from PSA. Sir, uh, pwede po ba yung NSO? Yes, pwede yung NSO. As long as it is readable, untampered, hindi gusot. Diba? Pwede ang NSO. Diba? Later, di-discuss ko sa inyo guys. Ha? Later. Ito yung birth certificate na kinukuha natin sa PSA na sometimes color green or sometimes color yellow. Doon naman sa mga married and kailangan yung gamitin yung... Oy, may nag-message si Tropa Storya. Um, hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi tinanggap yung NSO niyo eh. Kasi ako mismo yung ewan ko lang ako uh, ewan ko lang dun sa situation na nangyari sa iyo ah, Mr. Tropa Storya. Aha naman promise ni mo atong adjust 
August. Ah, uh, meron na silang memo nilabas para sa si dia. Oh, okay. So hindi na siya pwede. As per Tropa Storya, ah, uh, hindi na daw pwede ang NSO. Kailangan na uh, Uh, latest copy ng PSA. Tama po ba, sir? Sir, maraming maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat sa ad, uh, update. Meron na palang nilabas na bagong memo ang DFA. So, bawal na ang NSO. Okay, copy? Okay, copy po, copy. Okay. Pero wait lang, sir. Ha? Wait lang, sir. Uh, promise? Ano po yung promise? Sir, tropa story. Ano po yung promise? Baka mamaya nalimutan ko po eh. Please, update nyo po ako. Kailangan nyo rin dalhin yung authenticated marriage certificate from BSA. Mga readers, kung sa tingin ninyo na hindi nababasa, hindi klaro, at malabo yung authenticated birth certificate nyo from BSA, kailangan nyo kumuha ng kopya mismo sa local civil registrar ng birth certificate nyo. Yun yung birth certificate na nakinukuha nyo sa City Hall. Bakit ko kailangan sabihin ito sa inyo? It's just because kailangan kasi ni DFA na siguraduhin na tama yung spelling at tama yung tao and details na ilalagay doon sa passport nyo. Tandaan nyo na mas mabuti pang handa tayo. Starbucks? Ah, uh, wait lang po, wait lang po. Sir, parang I think um, I am actually waiting for your uh... Teka, naalala ko yun ah. Naalala ko yun, sir. Nag-message ka, sir, sa akin. Kasi hindi, hindi ko alam yung ano eh. Hindi ko alam yung, saan ko isa sa inyo, Gcash. Yun yun. Ang sabi ko po yata nun is, karang, kindly message me uh, with your Gcash number para masasend ko po yung pan Starbucks. Yes! Pero, kung hindi yung, hindi ko po, hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa, ha? Nag-email? Sir, wala po ako nag-receive na email nun. Ako nang, may, meron akong promise eh. Nag-email ako sa inyo dati. Wala po ako na... Everyday po ako nagbabasa ng email. Sige, sir. Uh, sir, um, paki-email po. Ngayon. Ngayon po. Magkano bang venti ngayon? <laughs> 200 yata, 250 ang venti ngayon. Sige, email niyo po sa akin yung number niyo, yung Gcash niyo, sir. Sir, tara ba, promise. Email niyo sa akin, tapos isasend ko sa Gcash. Copy. Okay na tayo. Sa promise ko, sir. <laughs> Kailan pa ba yan? Wala talaga, promise sir, wala talaga ako nare-receive na email, ha? Well, anyhow, sir, uh, email po dudungditon at gmail.com and uh, pakilala po kayo, kayo, kayo po si Tropa Storia tapos para ilag, 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 ilagay niyo po yung name ng Gcash niyo at saka yung Gcash number so later sa live uh, session po natin isasend ko po yung pang 20 Yay! 20! Magkano po 20 ngayon? 200? 200 bang venti ngayon, Bim? Starbucks, pinakamalaki. Ang alam ko, 200 yata eh. Pero sige po, uh, Sir Tropa, promise ha, uh, please, please, as uh, as we speak, can you send me an email, pakilala po kayo, sabihin nyo po, eh, kayo po ay eh, si Tropa Storia, para isasend ko po yung promise ko. Okay? Para, diretso na tayo sa Q&A. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pasensya na po, pasensya, wala talaga ako na-receive na email. Kesa naman ang mga ayos sa office ng DFA, kailangan yung pangbumalik just to secure his document. And number five, at ang pinakahuli na napakarami kong tanong na receive, identification ID, or yes. ID. Ano ano ba yung mga identification or ID na kailangan mo isubmit upon appearance? Nakinig kayo guys ha? Number one is SSSID. Correct. Number two, GSIS ID. Correct. Number three, UMID ID. Correct. Number four is LPO or driver's license ID. Correct. Number five is... Um, Sir Tropa, um, my, my channel name, Dudong Ditun, D-O-D-O-N-G-D-I-T-O-O-N at gmail.com. That's my email address. Sir, antayin ko po ah. Antayin ko po. Later, pagkatapos po ng live session natin, babasahin ko po yung email. Expect ko po yung email ninyo, promise. PRCID. PRCID. Ito yung ID na kung saan kung makapapasakan sa board exam. Sir, walang problema. <laughs> Basta ikaw. <laughs> Or board exam, such as mga doctors, nurses, engineers, lawyers, at mga mga 
Number, Number six, six is, is the Philippine ID. Ito, Ito yung national ID na kailangan natin recently. recently. Okay, wait lang. Yung, speaking of Philippine ID, guys, ha, pag sinabing ID, that means yung card mismo. Hindi pwede yung Philippine ID na nasa papel. Dapat card mismo. Kaya lang marami nagre-reklamo sa Philippine ID natin or national ID natin kasi sa sobrang daming demand, parang yung sa akin nga, no? yung sa akin nga, mga kadito natics, two years na, wala pa rin sa akin. Yung may nauna pa sa akin, nakareceive sila ng paper. Pero, again, yung application natin sa DFA, tinatanggap ang uh, national ID or pero hindi yung papel, yung card mismo. Okay? Number, Number seven, seven, at yung, yung pinakamadaling makuha ID is the postal ID. Number yes, eight, postal ID. Same. Guys, gumawa ako ng, ano, ng, ng content about how to get a postal ID. Uh, siguro magagawa at siguro oh, magla-live, ulit, magla-live session ako about postal ID. Kasi marami rin ako nang na-receive mga questions. Ha? Kaya hindi na ako pwedeng gumawa ng, ng same content lang din. Kasi paulit-ulit lang din naman eh. So mas maganda, gawin natin ganito. Reaction video tayo. Elaborate natin kung ano talaga yon and then para at least mas malinaw sa ating mga viewers. Nagaya nga po nito si Sir Sir Bato or Ma'am Sir Tropa Storia. Ah uh, dati tinatanggap ang NSO pero as per the latest update memo daw as per ni Sir Tropa Storia uh, hindi na daw tinatanggap yung NSO. Okay? So mas maganda meron tayong uh, interaction with the viewers. Para at least mas maganda yung uh, information dissemination natin. So, uh, information dissemination. Okay, back to video. In your citizen ID. Number 9, OWA e-card. Ngayon, paano kung nakapag-apply ka na dun sa mga ID ng mga nabanggit ko? Eh, wala pa sa inyo yung card, only the claim form or claim stub. Pwede na ba yun sa DFA? Ang sagot, kaya nga ideal. Sinabi ba nila ng claim form or claim stub? Ibig sabihin nyo, card. I mean, identification card. Hindi form. Sir Tropastoria, right after the video, I will have to check my email and... I'm expecting your email na po. Kung nakasend na po kayo sir, maraming maraming salamat. And pasensya na po, wala po talaga ako na-receive na email. Buti na lang po, nag-live ako para at least yung mga promise na hindi ko natutupad, natutupad ko ngayon. <laughs> pasensya na po. Okay, going back to video tayo. Ngayon, kung wala pa kayong na-receive na identification card, that means wala pa yung choice. Kundi kailangan mo mag-antay para makuha yung ID na yun. Klaro tayo doon ha. Okay. Number 10 is the voter's ID. Voter's Pero, ID. Pero tinatanggap ni DFA kung wala pa yung voter's ID nyo, ay dahil, speaking of voter's ID guys ha, voter's ID, kasi dati tinatanggap yung voter certificate supported by NBI or police clearance. Pero as per the latest memo, hindi na nila tinatanggap yung voter certificate. Kasi before, tinatanggap nila kahit hindi galing sa intramuros or main office. As long as galing siya sa regional offices ng, uh, ng uh, COMELEC. Kaya lang sa so sobrang daming na memeke daw. Oy, pwede na? Oy, napakagaling naman. Tinatanggap nila yung voters na pwede. Oh, wait lang. Oh, may bagong information po tayo ngayon. Galing kay Sir Tropa. Uh, tinatanggap na daw. May bagong memo daw po ang, uh, ang DFA na yung uh, printed national ID. Pwede na daw po yun. Okay, congratulations. Ang galing-galing naman. Sana ganyan yung mga viewers ko ngayon, no? Sana ganyan na ba very interactive and very informative no. So klare klarin natin guys ha. Uh, stop muna tayo sa voters ID. Yung sa national ID kasi before hindi ni natin natanggap yung printed, yung nasa papel. Pero as per the latest memo, ang latest update daw po galing kay Tropa Storia, pwede na daw po yung printed na national ID. Napakagaling. Kay maraming salamat sir. <gasps> Number 11 is the PNP. Okay, okay. Balik tayo, ba, balik tayo dun sa voter certificate. Hindi na tinatanggap yung voter certificate. Klaruhin ko lang ha. Ito, alam ko po to, sir. Uh, bawal na yung galing sa, mi, sa regional offices. Kasi sa sobrang daming na may make, sa, sa sobrang may alam mag-adobe, pinepeke na po talaga yung voter certificate. So, tinatanggap po yung voter certificate basta galing siya sa main office sa Intramuros. Pero, go go um from regional office coming from regional office hindi na siya tinatanggap ang tinatanggap lang na voter certificate is coming from the main office which is sa Intramuros maraming pong salamat to carry firearms outside residence 
Number 12 is the Airman License. Number 13 is the Seafarer's Record Book issued by Marina, but it must be issued February 2020. Okay, it must be issued February 2020 onwards. May nagtanong sa akin yung dalawang tao. Sir, bakit po ano, hindi pwedeng uh, uh, um, before or prior February 2020? Yun po yung requirements nila. Ha? Follow lang tayo sa requirements. Be onwards. Number 14, dun sa mga minors na wala pa talagang ID but only school ID, pwede naman. Ito, may issue rin yan eh. May mga bagong update din yan sa school ID. Okay. Um, basta below 17 years old, okay, school ID, may mga schools karon na, karon, bisaya, <laughs> may mga schools ngayon na, may mga schools kasi na hindi ba updated yung ID system nila kasi nga nagka-mandemic or something ganyan, pwede naman, i-present nyo lang yung, yung existing school ID nyo, pero dapat supported siya ng uh, enrollment certificate. So, saan kinukuha yung enrollment certificate? Kinukuha po yun mismo sa registrar's office ng school. Dapat may selyo, may dry seal ng school, at saka mag-prepare mag din po kayo ng isang 2 by 2 picture. Okay? However, it should be the latest and valid identification. Wait lang, may message si Sir Storia. Pero kung need nila ang assistance for voter certificate, Sir, willing ako mag-assist nila basta... Naalang authorized let. Oh, okay, meron na tayong to. Meron na tayong um, voters uh, certificate assistance. All you gotta do is to message uh, Tropa Storia, capital T R O P A space S T O R Y A. Pero kailangan lang daw niya ng uh, authorization letter. Okay? Authorization letter. You just have to uh, check on uh, the comment uh, box. May nag-offer ng offer, may nag-offer ng uh, voter certificate assistance. Message nila lang po si Tropa Storia. However, it, it must be supported by certificate of, of enrollment with, with photo of the minor and with dry seal ng school. And the pinaka number 15 is the latest and the valid passport. Ito kailangan to pa mag-renew yung ng passport. Oh, naulit ko na yun. Sa mga hindi ko na mag-renew ng ID such as team ID, NBI clearance, police clearance, barangay clearance. Guys, huwag nyo nang pilitin. Hindi na yan tinatanggap ni DFA. Okay ha? Klaro tayo doon ha? NBI, hindi na tinatanggap ni DFA as your primary ID on your passport application. Dati, tinatanggap yun noong unang panahon, kailangan ng NBI clearance. Pero, uh, there are some instances that the DFA officer may require. May. Pag sinabing may require, pwede, pero hindi ibig sabihin uh, applicable yan sa lahat. Like, say for example, um, ay, hindi na nga pala pwedeng galing sa... Hindi nga. Sorry. Kasi dat, dati, yung sa voter certificates coming from regional office, that should be supported by NBI clearance. Pero ngayon, since sabi po ni Tropostoria, um, hindi na daw tinatanggap sa regional office, so hindi na pwede ang NBI. Teen ID, hindi po tinatanggap. Ano ba ba? Um, PhilHealth ID, hindi na rin po tinatanggap. Marami pa. O, oh, tama si Tropostoria. Supporting document lang kasi yung NBI. So, that may, the the DFA officer may require as a supporting document, but that does not mean NBI clearance is your primary ID on your passport application. Tama? Okay. Pag-ibig, pag-ibig ID, hindi rin tinatanggap eh. Yung multi-purpose pag-ibig na ID, hindi rin tinatanggap. Ano pong masasabi niyo, Sir Tropostoria? <laughs> yung pag-ibig ID kasi uh, since government din si, wait lang, tagal naman ng applause yung pag tama si Sir Star nabubulol tuloy ako tama si Tropa Storia yung pag-ibig may be a supporting ID pero not a primary ID kasi go, issued by the government din naman yung, uh, yung pag-ibig ID pero hindi siya tinatanggap as primary pang support lang talaga siya okay, copy? 
Tandaan nyo mga kanitors that the ID must be readable that okay. means nababasa okay. hindi malabo, untampered at hindi fake. Ugalin din natin na isirox ko mga ID na yan na dadala niya sa DFA kesa naman kung kailan na doon na kayo sa DFA office doon pa kayo manghahilap kung saan kayo magpapasiros. Correct. Mabuti na yung handa para dire-diretso na kayo sa jackpot. And I hope na marunong itong video na ito. Next topic na tayo ha. Please don't hesitate to hit the like and subscribe button and also the notification bell for you to be updated on my next upload. Okay. Once again, this is Good Be Good. Na nag-iiwan ang kasabihang stay safe and stay positive. Ah, ito. Another issue na naman ito. Ang dami kong tanong na narinisip dito. Sige, yun na nga. So, klaro na tayo doon guys. Na-elaborate natin ng maayos. Pero meron, kung meron kayo mga questions and suggestions, suggestions kagaya ni Sir Tropa, please lang. Diba? If we're here, I'm here and we're here to help each other. Char! Tama naman. Magtulungan na lang tayo, no? Hindi na tayo dapat magbabash. Okay, ito na. To my channel. This vlog is in response to my previous vlog regarding DFA appointment. Eh, ang dami lang din kasi nagtatanong kasi wala daw sila nareceive ng email eh, bayan na daw sila. At nang dahil dyan, hindi sila makapag-based Additional information? Okay, wait lang po. Application form where kailangan nilang isabing niya sa DFA of an appearance. Failed payment and hindi pa rin daw sila makapag-based. Oo naman, tama daw sila. Actually, may sinabi si Tropa Story na ano, um, Huwag kayo magpa-assist ng mga online valid ID kasi bababan kayo sa DFA. Pwede kayo makulong. Tama naman yun. Ha? Pero ang, ang question ko dyan is, may mga passport uh, assistance na ino-offer sa online? Eh, minsan nga pinopromote pa nila sa Facebook yun eh. Pero I cannot, you know, I cannot um, disregard them. Kasi there are people that who are really busy I don't have time to do it by themselves. So, ewan ko. Yun nga rin yun. Oo. Tama yun. Show up. I li lang lang kasi. Well, anyhow, it's up to you guys. Okay? Kung gusto nyo ng passport assistance, but it's a risk. You know? You don't know the person. They don't have a... If they have a... If they don't have an office, it's a risk. Diba? Diba? But if you trust it, maraming issue yan na Jessica sa kuha pa nga yun eh. Pero, nasa sa inyo yan guys. Pero before kayo humingi or mag-ask ng passport assistance online, make sure it's a legit person. Okay? Yun lang yun. Ay, di, pero may appointment din na sila. So, those are the common questions that I received from my previous vlog. Let's get into it after this. Guys, maraming maraming salamat dun sa nanonood sa previous vlog ko about DFA appointment, tips and suggestions how to get an appointment for 30 minutes. So, kung dami na talaga nagtanong, kaya ito, ito yung inspiration ko kung bakit ginawa ko itong vlog. Simula na natin. Issue number one, hindi ako nakareceive ng email confirmation regarding my DFA appointment, eh bayad na naman ako. Hindi rin ako makapag-print ng passport application form, eh malapit na yung appointment ko. Yan yung mga common question natin, yung mga issues na na-experience sa mga applicants natin, no? So, makinig muna tayo sa video. Later on, kung meron kaming maa-add na information, okay. Pasok. Ito yung sinasabi ko dun sa previous vlog ko na do not close the window right after you made the payment. Let me show the picture. Yan yun. Yan yung sinabi ko kanina, di ba? Ito ba yun? Yan. Yan. Pagkatapos yung mag- uh, After you made a payment, do not close the, this window. All you gotta do is to click on your name and automatically the window will actually direct you to your passport application form that is ready for printout. Ngayon, kung wala kayong print, printer, then you better save it on your file. Go to the internet cafe where you can, you know, have it printed out on an A4 size bond paper. Minsan kasi confident na tayo kasi nakareceive na tayo ng... Uy! Naka... May nag-offer ng assistance mga viewers ha. Check on your comment box. Tama! Sabi mo wag mag-promote daw. Pero sige, since nandiyan ka na, ikaw na bahala dyan sa comment box. Kung may mag-comment sir, 
<laughs> Ikaw na bahala mag- uh, mag-assist. <laughs> email confirmation regarding our payment and so we are expecting that right after that DFA will send the email confirmation right then and then. Ah, uh, hindi natin alam. Minsan kasi down ang system ng DFA. Correct. Nade-delay yung email confirmation. Correct. And we end up panicking, cramming, kasi malapit na yung appointment date natin. Okay. Um, check natin ah. Learning experience. After you made the payment, do not close that window. Click on your name. Kesa mag-antay ka ng email kasi once you click that name, the page will automatically direct you to your passport application form where it is ready for print out and ready for saving it on your files kung wala kayong printer. Copy yun ha, copy ha, malinaw ha, malinaw. And nandun pa naman si email yung passport application form and also the confirmation code na kailangan nating isubmit ang panapiras. But you don't have to worry, there's still a workaround or possible resolution how we can actually print out the passport application form and also the appointment code without receiving the email. Correct. Ito kailangan mong gawin. So listen very carefully. Do you still remember the email confirmation regarding your payment? Yung sa Paymaya? Heto ipapakita yung picture para maalala nyo. Ayan. Guys. I-view nyo yan. Hindi ba? Nakikita nyo yung uh, transans- transansang. transaction number. Sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? Sinadjust ko kanina. Uh, kinahanglan or kailangan yung mag-screenshot para at least meron kayong preba. So kung wala kayo naka-screenshot, pagdating dyan sa page na yan, i-note down yung transaction number. Yung transaction number na yan na nakita nyo sa picture, yun yung application code mo. Yes! Correct. Malino ha? Yung transaction number dun sa page na yon is your application code number. Isulat mo muna sa papel and later gagamitin mo yan. The next thing that you will have to do is go to DFA website dun sa um, schedule ng appointment. Below that, you will see view appointment. Let me show you the picture. Alright. Yan. Ayan. Pause ko ha. Ito, ito, ito. ito itong transaction na to, 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 to. Yan. Yung view appointment. I-click nyo yan guys ha. If... Uh, hindi kayo naka-receive ng email, meron kayong transaction number, i-click nyo yan, and it will direct you to a different window. Okay, wait. Nawala. Yun. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Okay, play by video. Once you click that, it will direct you to a different page, and papakita ko sa inyo ang kanilang insura. There you go! Diyan yung ilalagay yung transaction number dito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yan. Diyan niya ilalagay yung transaction number kasi yun yung application code mo. Tapos yung email address na clinic mo, ah, ni-register mo upon application. From there, you will have to put that transaction number and also your email address that you included or registered Correct. when you made the appointment. Correct. And doon, lalabas yung appointment date mo and also the passport application form na kailangan mong i-print at dalhin upon appearance. Yay! Ang tanong, paano kung wala pa rin talaga lumabas ng information? Ano yung gagawin mo? What was advised to me, sometimes, isinesend ng DFA yung email confirmation hindi sa inbox kung mapasok dun sa spam folder. Okay, um, tama yung uh, sabi ni Sir Tropastoria, no? Kasi ang ginamit ko dyan is uh, debit card ko or credit card ko yung ginamit dyan. So, may lalabas na transaction number. Paano sa GCash, di ba? Uh, mga ko alam, alam ko dyan, help me, Mr. Tropastoria, no? Alam ko dyan, Uh, same process if Gcash yung uh, um, yung mode of payment mo pero iba yung process kapag sa payment center or sa bayad center ha kana kana nga kung ipakita yung pinakita kana nga kung ipakita <laughs> yung pinakita ko ay using debit or credit card and Gcash lumalabas yung transaction number niya So, sometimes, check din natin yung spam folder. Malay nyo, nandun yung email confirmation ko mo. Minsan kasi, kailangan din natin magandai. Pero ang sabi ni DFA, usually, the email confirmation is sent 24 hours before your appointment day. Paano kung less than 24 hours, wala ka pa rin na-release yung email? Um, uh, I have to cut the video. Um, 
yung sa GCash kasi, kasi <laughs> yung sa GCash kasi guys, uh, walang transaction number. Tama si Tropa Storya doon. Walang transaction number. However, if sa GCash yung gagamitin nyo, um, it's like this. Uh, people should know the process as to when the payment will actually land on the Bayad Center system and will land on DFA system. Okay? So, as per the DFA confirmation, if uh, Bayad Center yung gagawin, gagamitin nyo as mode of, your pay, mode of payment, uh, it will take um, minimum of 3 days, maximum of 5 business days. When you say business days, hindi kasama yung Saturday, Sunday. So that means from f Monday to Friday. It will take minimum of 3 days to 5 business days before the payment will actually land to DFA system. Okay? Once DFA system received your payment from the Bayad Center, that's the time you will receive your email confirmation that includes your application form with your application code. First is that even if you did not receive your email, you still have to go for your appearance. Kailangan mo pa rin talagang pumunta sa DFA, bibigyan ka nila ng 30 days extension. Eh, bibigyan mo pa pala ako. Okay, tama siya doon. No. Uh, iba ang process sa Gcasher. You should email to DFA. Yes, um, um, said, sa, sa Gcash? Sir, same din. Nung nagbayad ako ng application, uh, applic application ko sa G through Gcash, automatic nag-email sila eh. Promise. Kaya nga, sinasuggest, sinasuggest ko po dun sa video na it's better to use your credit or debit card and Gcash. Is, ewan ko lang ngayon ah. Kasi mas updated po yata kayo. <laughs> Kasi nung ginamit yung Gcash, automatic nag-send sila. Well, anyhow, uh, what I'm trying to emphasize here is uh, through the Bayad Center. Ng 30 days extension, so bakit kailangan mo pa pumunta doon sa DFA? Kasi they will have to put a note on your application that you are given a chance to extend it in 30 days. Okay, wait. Uh, depende yan. Eh. If, yun na nga, eh. yun na nga yung point. Yun na nga yung sinasabi ko sa, uh, sa inyo guys na not all the system has a perfect system, okay? Th sometimes, due to the bulk and the demand and the number of applicants applying, eyeing for an appointment, nagbabaklag. Promise, nade-delay, nade-delay, nade-delay talaga yung pagsisend ng email. So, si, minsan check natin yung spam, minsan nandun din yun, ha? Well, anyhow, going back to video. Kung walang note, walang extension. Doon dito, what if meron na akong extension? Diretso na rin ba ako pupunta sa DFA? Yung extension na sinabi dito, like say for example, within 24 hours, hindi ka pa rin talaga nakaka-receive ng email confirmation about your appointment. Well, that's the time. The first thing to do is to call or email DFA. Now, if they did not, they did, they did not respond immediately, you still have to go to DFA office from where you made an application. Kasi from there, uh, kailang mo siyempre magpakita pa rin ng proof na meron kang, uh, meron kang payment na nangyari. May payment kang ginawa, may appointment kang binayaran. Pakita mo yung proof. That's the reason why guys, sa sinabi ko sa inyo na ugaliin natin mag-screenshot para at least magkinaunsa or o namang mangyari, meron kayong proof na nagbayad kayo. Ngayon, within 24 hours, Yes, within 24 hours, hindi pa rin kayo nakakapunta ng DFA, nakaka-receive ng confirmation code, guys. Kailangan yung pumunta sa DFA. Okay? Supported by your uh, proof of payment. The reason why you have to go there is just because um, they will put a note. Okay? Note na bibigyan kayo ng extension na 30 days. Okay? Gaya ang sabi ko kanina, dyan sa video na yan, uh, guys, Without the note, then how can they identify if you you went to DFA? How can they identify that you are given an extension? That's the question, diba? So follow tayo sa instructions. Okay, copy? Ang sagot, hindi. Once you are given an extension of 30 days, DFA will give you a specific email for you to reschedule an appointment. And from... 
exception of 30 days, DFA will give you a specific email for DFA. Because they will have to put a note on yes, your application that you are given a chance to extend it in 30 days. Go while note, while an extension. Do me What if there is no extension? Diretso na rin ba ako pupunta sa DFA? Yan. I have to pause the video. Hindi ka pwedeng pumudiretso sa, sa DFA. Kasi once they put a note on your uh, application, they will give you a specific email. Yung specific email na yun, kung matatanong nyo naman, is yun yung email address from where your office, uh, from where you apply an application. The off... Mali. Yung specific email ulit, ulit. <laughs> Yung specific email na yun is the email from where you made an applica- application. Okay? Ang sagot, hindi. Once you are given an extension of 30 days, DFA will give you a specific Tama. email Tama dun, for you to reschedule an appointment. And yes. So, bibigyan ka ng specific email. Kailangan mo makikoordinate sa kanila sa email. Okay. Nakuha ko na yung application, uh, application form. Meron na akong application code. Uh, kailan po ako pwedeng mag-apply? Siyempre, you state your specific date. Para at least ma-check din nila kung pwede ba kayong, kung full na ba yung, kung available pa ba yung date na gusto mo or hindi. Doon ka makikipag-arrange sa email sa application date mo. From there, sila ang magbibigay ng schedule para sa inyo. Ang dami mga follow-up question, no? Pero issue number two na tayo. Doon dito ang failed payment, hindi ako makabuk ulit. The question is, nabawasan ba yung account mo? <laughs> if yes, and then you may need to secure a proof na nabawasan o na-charge yung bank account mo. Tama. Or any proof na nabawasan talaga yung bank mo, yung Zcash mo, na pwede mo ma-justify para ma-validate din ng DFA yung transaction mo. And once validated, then you will be given another 30 days extension for you to reschedule your appointment. Ngayon, kung fail lang talaga yung payment mo and hindi ka naman nabawasan, well, there's nothing to confirm. All you got to do is to check with your bank, maybe insufficient yung balance, or maybe down yung system ng bank mo, or whatever payment channel that you have chosen. Usually, if there's a failed uh, payment transaction, hindi ka na pwedeng mag-book ulit. The system will actually refresh after 24 hours pa. So, you have to try and make another appointment again. That's too sad, no? Issue number three, may appointment na ako pero wala pa akong ID. Ang tao na mga... Yun yung, yun yung, yung mga common uh, mistakes, no? Ng mga applicants. Kasi, nagmamadali silang kumuha ng ano, nung nang, nang, uh, na, mag-apply ng passport. Pero wala pa lang silang valid ID. Eh, hindi rin naman ganun kadaling kumuha ng ng government issued ID, di ba? It will take time, kagaya ng national ID. Postal ID, depende yan sa location. Voter certificate, may assistance si Sir Trapastoria. <laughs> I mean, voter certificate, galing pa siya sa Intramuros. Hindi na siya pa, pwedeng galing sa sa uh, regional offices nila. So, before you uh, apply for a passport, and make sure you have a, 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 a valid ID to support with, di ba? Kasi naman, bakit ka naman nag-book ng appointment eh wala ka na naman pala ng ID? Kasi nga baka pwede ng MBI, police clearance, o marang ID clearance pwede na. Mga kanilogers, hindi acceptable na ngayon yun. Tama. Kung ano talaga yung nakalagay mismo dun sa list of valid IDs ng DFA. Yan yun, yung list ng valid IDs ng DFA, nakalista na yan ha. And diniscuss ko na yan kanina, di ba? So, yun lang talaga yung pwede. Padayon na, padayon. Huwag na natin ipilit. However, huwag kayong mag-alala. If you have confirmed appointment and yet you still does not have any valid ID for you to comply, you still have to go to your appointment. Yan, yan. Hindi ko sinabi na, hindi ko, di ko ina-emphasize dito. Sige, magbuka ka na lang ng appointment kahit wala kang valid ID. Eh, bibigyan naman ako ng extension ng 30 days. Eh, what if yung within 30 days, hindi mo pa rin nakukuha yung ID, di ba? Kamusta naman? <laughs> because DFA will... Oh, sabi ni Tropa Storia, ang voter certificate daw na galing sa Intermonos may take 2 weeks lang daw, sir, maximum. Incomplete, basta kompleto lang sa authorization letter. Okay, copy. Also give you 30 days extension for your appointment. And if hindi ka pa rin comply after 30 days, I'm so sorry to say this, but the payment that you had is not refundable. Okay, non-refundable. 
may nag-comment kasi sa akin no na saan mapupunta yung uh, yung bayad ko na hindi ko naman na sir na sa contract po yun sa kauna-unahang page po ng application nyo may terms and conditions so before ka nagbayad na before ka makaproceed na clinic mo tinik mo po yung terms and conditions that means nag-agree ka po doon na kung ano mang pwedeng mangyari sa application mo or hindi mo napuntahan non-refundable po yun naka-stipulate po yun sa terms and conditions and I think that's it for now okay. I hope na matulong tong video na to next na tayo next na tayo if you have questions and suggestions please don't hesitate to put some comments hit the like and the notification bell for you to be updated on my next upload Yay! once again this is Julio Dito and I'm going to say hang stay home and stay safe Bye! Okay, babalik tayo doon. Channel ko. Next topic na po tayo to emphasize more is about um, Okay, tapos na tayo dito. DFA updated. No confirmation email. How to get a passport in 15 minutes. Meron pa akong ginawa niyang isa. Minor. Minor applicant na tayo. Grandma, I miss you. Okay. So malinaw na malinaw tayo dun mga kadito natik sa na inemphasize for I further emphasized my content para at least mas malinaw sa ting mga viewers, especially dun sa mga aspiring applicants getting the passport from DFA and renewing. So next topic natin ngayon is about application for minor applicants. Okay. Welcome to my channel. Okay, let's listen to the video. Para nalang mag-apply ng passport kung minor ang aplikante. Kaya huwag na natin patagalin. Pasok, intro! Itong content na to ay request ng isang subscriber na ang pag-aalan ay si Mista. Mista! Ito nga naman talagang napaparami talaga na nagtatanong kung paano talagang mag-apply kung ang aplikante ay isang minor. Kaya your wish is my command. Correct! Kaya simulan na natin. Una-una, sino-sino nga ba ang mga minor? Dalawang classification yun. First is 17 years old and below. And then the other one is seven years old and below. Pare-pareho lang din naman ng process kaya lang ang kaibahan ng below seven years old is meron silang eligibility to use the courtesy lane. Ibig sabihin nun, pwede silang mag-walk in. At hindi na lang kailangan mag-abang sa napakailap na schedule availability sa online appointment system. Gumawa pa ng content about courtesy lane and ilalagay ko yung link sa description box para may guide kayo. Correct. Ano nga ba yung mga core requirements sa pag-apply ng isang minor for passport application. Number one is confirmed online appointment. Number two is accomplished application form. Number three is personal appearance ng minor applicant at ng magulang o authorized guardian na kasama sa pag-apply. Okay. Balik tayo dun ha. Minor. Minor applicant. Yan ha. Personal appearance ng minor. Hindi pwedeng proxy. Parent or magulang nakasama sa pag-aapalay ng minor and kung hindi kasama yung magulang authorized guardian okay? authorized guardian nakasama sa pag-aapalay number 4 is birth certificate from PSA okay birth certificate from PSA sabi po niya as per the latest memo coming from Mr. Tropa Storia hindi na tinatanggap yung NSO okay dapat from PSA na kung sa tingin nyo, malabo at hindi nababasa yung birth certificate from PSA, ugaliin laging tayong hagda, kumuha tayo ng birth certificate sa local civil registrar na office na malapit sa inyo o kung saan ka nirehistro. Number five is marriage certificate. Ito ay kailangan dalil, lalo-lalo na kung isa lang sa mga magulang ang kasama ng minor sa pag-a-apply. Okay, klarating klarin natin yung marriage certificate. Marami rin akong questions dun eh. So, yung asawa ko pong, yung asawa ko po, lalaki, kailangan pa po ba ng marriage certificate? Ina, hinahanap lang po ang marriage certificate sa pag-apply ng passport if uh, ang, bab, uh, ang, ang babae ay bagong kasal at magpapalit po siya ng apelyedo from last name to married name. Okay? 
Ngayon pa ito mong ikasal. Kailangan mo mag-secure ng special power of authority executed by the mother. Kung hindi nyo naman gusto mag-secure ng special power of authority, mas mabuti pang ang mama na lang o ang nanay ang kasama sa pag-a-apply ng passport ng isang minor. Correct ha? Hindi na kailangan ng special power of attorney if mama ang kasama ng minor applicant sa passport application. Kung papa, hindi kasal, kailangan ng um, special power of attorney. Ngayon kung wala at talagang si tatay o si papa talaga yung kailangan sumama, wala kayong choice kung hindi mag-secure ng special power of attorney. Correct! Kung so, paano naman kung nasa abroad yung mga magulang at guardian yung kasama sa pag-a-apply ng minor, Ayan yun, mga common questions. Kailangan nyo pa rin mag-secure ng special power of attorney executed by the parents but it should be authenticated by the Philippine Embassy or Consulate. Hindi po pwedeng authorization letter ha? Kailangan po special power of attorney kasi minor ang pinag-uusapan natin dito guys. Okay? If ang mga ang ifang parents is uh, uh, ov- uh, nasa overseas, nasa overseas, is nasa abroad, overseas, and then ang minor applicant is nasa Pilipinas, kailangan ng special power of attorney. Okay? Special power of attorney na na ay selyo, tama ba selyo ng uh, embassy or consulate? Mali daw yun ha? Number 6 is kailangan yung magdala ng passport. Ngayon kung wala ng passport, kailangan yung magdala ng isang valid government issued IDs na tinatanggap ng DOA. Okay. Ang parent, meron din dapat identification, pero ang number 1 requirements nila passport. Ngayon kung walang passport, any government issued ID, kay bakit hinahanapan ng parents ng ganun, di ba? Is of course para to validate kung ikaw ba talaga yung mama, ikaw ba yung papa ng aplikante, minor aplikante. You may visit their website or you may also visit my channel kung ano ano yung mga ID na tinatanggap ng DFA. Number 7 is school ID. You will also need to secure a certificate of enrollment by right, driving school yan kanina, guys, ha? at kailangan nyo magdala ng 2 by 2 teacher. Pero kung hindi naman talaga nag-aaral pa yung minor, pwede hindi naman magdala o masabing ng school ID. So yun yung mga basic requirements for minor aplikante. Makuha na tayo sa Q&A. Yes, Q&A. Paano naman kung less than 1 year old? Eh, wala pa naman silang birth certificate. For PSA. Okay, makikin. Kapag isinilang sa Pilipinas, kailangan mong kumuha ng certified true copy from the local civil register ng birth certificate ng bata. Oh, klaro yun ha. Pero kailangan mong pa rin i-authenticate yun sa PSA. Kailangan mong dalit kumuha ng uh, authenticated birth certificate sa local civil register's office kung saan mo ni-register yung bata. And kailangan mong i-authenticate yun sa PSA if less than uh, a month o less than a year old yung bata. Copy ha, malinaw ha? Meaning, kailangan mo pa rin talaga pumunta sa PSA para ma-authenticate yung certified true copy ng birth certificate mo from local civil registrar's office. Malinaw yan, Kapag malinaw. Kapag isinilang naman sa abroad, ang kailangan naman is original and photocopy of report of birth o endorsement from consular records division. Correct. Doon din kung paano naman kung guardian yung kasama sa pag-a-apply. Okay, kailangan nyo mag-submit ng special power of authority executed by the parents designating the minor compliance to assist on the application process. When you say designating the min- designated designating the minor applicant, ay, designating the guardian na siya ang mag-a-assist sa minor applicant. When you say designating, uh, i-assign ni mo. I-assign mo siya as guardian, dapat nakastipulate yung name na ikaw si guardian ang mag-a-assist sa minor applicant na ang parents is nasa abroad. At magkakalimutan na authenticated na ng Philippine Embassy or Consulate. Yan ha? Authenticated by Philippine Embassy and con- Consulate. Ang guardian is kailangan magdala ng passport. Ngayon kung walang passport, kailangan magdala ng kahit isa sa mga government-issued IDs na tinatanggap ng DFA. Correct. At mayroon pang isang special power of attorney or affidavit of consent of support na dapat meron ding nakalagay or photocopy na mga IDs ng mga magulang. Okay, huwag kakalimutan ha. Kailangan may IDs din ng mga magulang. Ha? Huwag kakalimutan. 
Duduk dito. Paano naman kung ang aplikante ay illegitimate? Meaning, ito ay hindi legal na anak, pero nasa posadiyan ng nanay. Or di kaya walang legal na mama or papa. Actually, aside from the confirm online application and accomplished application form, kailangan pa rin ng appearance ng minor at ng mama kung wala mama or authorized guardian. Duduk dito. Paano naman kung illegitimate, pero patay na yung mama at yung papa or yung tatay is unknown or hindi alam kung nasaan. Ganun pa rin naman yung requirements. Confirm online appointment, accomplished application form, kasi siyempre wala nang mama at papa or ano yung parents, dapat yung guardian. Kaya sama rin yung guardian sa pag-apply. Birth certificate from PSA, passport, or kung walang passport, government-issued ID na tinatanggap ni DFA. At ang additional is SWD clearance. At ang pinakuhanin is letter of guardianship issued ng korte. And I hope na mag-alala yung mga ito. If you have questions and suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment. Hit the like and subscribe button. And also, hindi ko na masyadong bilang hindi ko na masyadong pinaliwanag kasi masyadong uh, self-explanatory. Masyadong malino na yung video ko na yan, yung content ko na yan. So next topic na po tayo for you to be updated on my next upload. Once, Once again, again, this, this is Dudu Dudu na nag-iwan ang kasabihan. Stay, stay safe and always stay awesome. Bye! Bye. Hindi pa ko magbababay. Next topic muna tayo guys. Ha? Yung pinaka-last topic na siguro natin dito, yung uh, Curtis Elaine. Hanapin natin yung party si Lena. Okay, wait lang mga kadito natix. Dito natix, party si Lena. Okay, ito na. Okay. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, guys. So natalil yung pinakayintay ng mga maglalang people jan kasi DFA is now accepting walk-in applicants. Sino-sino ba ang pwedeng mag-walk-in? At ano-ano ang mga requirements para magamit ka sa Curtis Lane? Kaya huwag na natin patagalin. Pasok, intro! Simula noong March 14, 2022, open na ang Curtis Lane ng DFA. Pero mga kanitoners, ito ay pwede lang magduna ang mga vaccinated applicants. Meron, wait lang ha? Vaccinated applicants. Okay? Ang Curtis Lane, dapat vaccinated applicants. Kung kasama niyo yung minor is unvaccinated or hindi pa vaccinated, as long as yung parent na kasama niyo or guardian is vaccinated, pwede na rin. Okay, klaro tayo dun ha. Ang, uh, ang courtesy lane, they only accept vaccinated applicant, but kung ang minor applicant na gagamit ng courtesy lane ay unvaccinated, dapat ang guardian or ang parent ang nakasama sa pag-apply is vaccinated. Malinaw yun ha? Again, alam ko marami magtatanong nito, pwede bang hindi vaccinated? Hmm, hindi ka pwede mag-walking. Klaro tayo doon ha? As per the website, ang open... Tropa Storia, uh, pwede pakitakal ang uh, apostel. Sir, if okay lang. Actually sir, um, gustong gusto ko na siyang gawa ng content, pero... Um, hindi ko alam kung pwede mga magdala ng camera uh, sa pag-apply ng apostol and uh, I haven't experienced it yet so I don't have much idea but uh, ang tagal ang dami na na nagre-request yun sir eh. pero don't worry uh, since available na ako ngayon I'm back in you know vlogging so I will do my best to you know uh, to tackle about apostol okay back to video lang ng consular office ng DFA is only at DFA Ashana. Pero kung pumunta ako dito sa DFA Cebu and they said, open na ang Curtis Lane ng lahat ng consular office. Guys, kung when you say consular office, main office, hindi po yung mga mga TAPS ba ang tawag doon? TAPS, temporary off-site something. Oh, pwede na daw magdala. Eh, ano yung hago? Way back the video. Hindi na ako nito magdala. Consular office at hindi temporary off-site na ng DFA. Pero mga kanitoners, magtanong-tanong din tayo doon sa pinakamalalik na ng DFA office natin. Kasi baka mamaya hindi ready na kayo, eh pagpunta nyo doon, hindi pa lang consular office at hindi temporary off-site na. Take note lang din mga kanitoners. DFA may only accommodate limited slots per day. Klaro tayo din ha. DFA will only uh, uh, accommodate limited slots per day. Hindi, hindi, 
ka basta-basta rin pwedeng pumunta doon at any time. Kasi ang as far as I know, they only accept 300, 300 applicants. And paunahan talaga yan, guys. Okay. Eh, so kung pupunta kayo ng tanghali na, eh, kamusta naman? naman? Huwag ka nang mag-expect na may maahamutan ka ng maglas. Mas maaga, mas mabuti. Sino-sino at ano ang mga requirements para makapag-walk in ka sa DOK? Number one, senior citizen. Sa mga senior citizen dyan, kailangan yung dalagin yung senior citizen ID. Again, hindi po siya basihan ng muka. Basihan po siya sa senior citizen ID nyo. Okay? Copy? Bakit kailangan nyo pa magdala ng citizen ID ay alakaan ng mga iwang matanda? Kasi syempre, kailangan din i-validate ng DOA yun. Meron kasing senior citizen na hindi mo kasing senior citizen at meron kasing senior citizen pero hindi mo kasing senior citizen. Ay, totoo yan ha. Totoo yan guys ha. Meron akong kakilala na hindi pa siya senior citizen pero mukha na talaga siyang senior citizen. Maaga lang siyang nabulok. Hahaha! Pwede magsama ng isang aplikan ang senior citizen pero dapat immediate family member. Okay, immediate family member. Pwede magsama ang senior citizen, mag-apply ang kasama ng senior citizen pero dapat immediate family member. Dapat asawa, hindi, anak. Anak, kapatid. Pwede ba yun? Kapatid? Hindi. Uh, Oo, oh, kapatid, pwede. Immediate family member man. Ah, uh, Uulitin ko ba, isa lang ang pwedeng isama ng senior citizen. Sino-sino ba yung mga immediate family member? Yun ay asawa ng senior, kapatid ng senior, at anak ng senior citizen. Malinaw yan ha. Asawa ng senior citizen, kapatid ng senior citizen, at anak ng senior citizen. The rest, hindi na siya pwede. Klaro tayo doon mga kadito natics ha. Wala na nila. May mga requirements ba na kailangan dalhin ng immediate family member? Yes, meron. Kailangan nyo magdala ng birth certificate na magpapatunay na immediate family member kayo ng senior citizen. Alam ko may magtatanong din yan sa inyo na pwede bang magdala ng hindi immediate family member? Ang sagot is yes. Pero dapat meron kayong proof of travel gaya ng air ticket or hotel booking. So dapat magkasama kayo sa isang ticket or any proof na magkasama talaga kayo ng senior citizen. Oh, pwede naman. Pero meron kayo dapat kayo ng proof. Pwede yung mga nurse, pwede yung mga medical escort. Pwede yun. Hindi mo masyadong na-clarify ng DFA as to what specific document yung kailangan kong dalhin. Ilpompan yun ka. Pero siguro pwede siguro yung barangay certificate na pwede yung magpatunay na magkasama kayo sa isang bahay at ikaw yung kasama ng senior citizen na nag-aalaga sa kanya. Okay, clarify tayo. Meron nag-suggest. Galing pa rin kay Tropa Storya. Um, yung walk-in applicants, they only accept 100 applicants. Okay? Hindi siya 300. Mali ako doon. Ang, ang alam ko kasi 300. 100 applicants lang per day. Yung 300 is uh, that, uh, applicants coming from online. That's why limited lang ang stocks. Number 2. Persons with disability or PWD. Sa mga PWD, kailangan nyo dalhin yung PWID nyo siyempre. Pwede rin magsama ng companion si PWD. Okay. Yung companion ni tipa PWD, pero di mag-klaroin ko ha. Eh, companion nyo ng senior citizen, dapat immediate family. And companion ni PLD, PLDT, <laughs> PWD, dapat uh, uh, immediate family din. Okay? Either immediate family or traveling companion. Sa immediate family, it's either asawa, kapatid, or anak ng PWD. So, doon lang sa traveling companion, any proof na traveling companion kayo ng PWD. Parang pareho lang din yung sa requirements ng senior citizen. Number three, pregnant applicant. Sa mga pregnant applicant, kailangan nyo dali yung medical certificate nyo. Yes. Kailangan nyo magdala ng medical certificate nyo ha. Kasi meron kasi mga babae na mukha lang talaga siyang buntis pero hindi naman siya buntis. Patunay na talaga ng buntis kayo. Kung walang medical certificate, hindi ka pwede mag-walk in. May iba kasi dyan na mukhang buntis lang talaga pero hindi naman talaga buntis. So kailangan nyo yung medical certificate. Tama yun, tama. Number four, minors. Dapat below seven years old. A minor applicant must be accompanied by his or her legal parents. Cut muna ang video. Below 7 years old ha. Baka mamaya may magtatanong na pwede 8 years old. Below 7 years. Below 7 years old. Hindi siya above. So above 7 years old, hindi siya pwede. Hindi siya pwedeng mag-courtesy lane. 
guardian, or authorized representative. Number five is solo parent. Sa mga solo parent, kailangan nyo dalhin yung valid solo parent identification card nyo. Number six, um, kailangan talaga ng solo parent identification card. Kasi may nagtanong sa akin yan sa, 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 ba, sa vlog na wala daw siyang solo parent ID. Pero de, pwede rin ba yung uh, certificate coming from barangay? Uh, hindi. Dapat mayroon ka talagang solo parent ID. So you have to process your solo parent ID. Hindi pa yung uh, certificate coming from barangay. It's overseas <laughs> Filipino workers or OFW. Sa mga OFWs, kailangan yung dalhin is number one, your OWA e-card. Number two is your valid visa. Number three is your valid employment Sa mga CFARES, kailangan yung dalhin yung CFARES identification and record book na may stamp sa international borders not more than 364 days or not more than one year. At number five, yung expired contract and visa nyo. At yung passport nyo na may tatak na ng immigration not more than 360 65. Number 7, yung mga may exceptional and emergency, emergency cases. cases. Ito yung sinasabi ni Tom Pastoria. Ito yung mga applicants na may mga emergency cases na may sulat or endorsement from this following department. Correct. Number 1, Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Number 2, Under Secretary for Civilian Security and Consular Concerns. And the Assistant Security for Consular Affairs. Additional info lang ako mga viewers. Doon sa mga senior citizen and PWDs, pwede yung pumili ng options para magbayad ng processing fee na regular rate na 950 and expedited processing fee of 1,200. Doon sa mga companion na kasama ng senior citizen and PWD, wala kayong regular rate. Only you would have to pay the expedited processing fee which is 1,200. Okay. Yung mga na yun, hindi lumaan sa party sila, wala kayong ibang options to pay the expedited processing fee which is 1,200. Yes, correct. Again, ulitin-ulitin ko to mga tinuners. All offices or DFA offices na tumatanggap ng walking applicants, they are only accepting limited slots per day. Mas mabuti oh, 100 lang yun, ha? Umaga, 100 lang. Wait lang, limited slots a day for uh, Curtis Lane or uh, walk-in 100, 100 applicants per day lang yung 300 applicants na tinatanggap nila is coming through online kaya pumunta or hapon wala na kayong slot na maabutan kamusta naman anyway at ang pinakalas dito na yung mga emergency cases or may mga extraordinary circumstances like meron kayong COVID-19 hindi talaga kayo pwede mag-walk-in sa DFA I hope may natutunan ang kayo dito sa vlog mo if you have questions and suggestions please don't hesitate to put us in comments hit the like and subscribe button and also the notification Bell for you to be updated on my next upload. Once again, this is Dudu Biton. Nanadi wa yung kasabihang stay safe and always stay awesome. Bye. Anyhow, ah guys, ah tapos na yung ah live, tapos na yung ating ah live session. Oh, malapit na matapos at tapusin nila. And I hope ah medyo na clarify na yung mga questions. But guys, please do not hesitate to you know comment pa rin. Sempre, ba? Wait lang pa, wait lang pa. Don't hesitate to comment pa rin guys kasi uh, not all people can really understand it well and we're here to help, okay? I am here to help and as well as some of my subscribers, kagaya po ni Tropa Storia, meron mo siya mga additional informations about the memos that has been released by uh, newly released released by DFA, guys. Okay? So, yeah, uh, maraming maraming salamat dun sa mga aking uh, 20 million viewers uh, for today. If you if you want to have uh, uh, another live session, please comment down below para at least uh, uh, ma-organize natin. No? Not all the time kasi available ang inyong, hang, uh, uh, inyong lingkod. So, uh, for any uh, comments, questions, suggestions, please, 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 I need it, you know? That's how I am really thirsty about your comments, suggestions. And of course, uh, before I end, uh, my live session, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat, sa mga didonatics, sa mga viewers ko. And uh, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. Kailangan, kailangan ko po yan. Mas maraming subscribers, mas maraming viewers. And baka naman, pag may nanon nanonood kayo ng, uh, ng mga content ko, please do not uh, skip on uh, the advertisements. <laughs> Dun po tayo sumasweldo. And again, 
Uh, once again, and again, once again, once again, this is Dudung Dito na nag-iwan ng kasabihang stay safe and always stay awesome. And, uh, Tropa Storia, um, I'll get back on you. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll get back on you. I'll check my email and I'll send your uh, price for your Venti Starbucks. Okay? Bye! Ingat po kayo lahat! Bye-bye! Mwa-mwa! Chup-chup!